Did someone say shark pencil case? This guy has been super popular and on today's video I'm going to give you all the tips, the hacks and how you can improve on your shark pencil case. Stay watching to the end because I'm going to share my favourite fabric choice from all of the ones that you've been making. In the description below and in the first comment you're going to find the original shark pencil case tutorial. You're also going to find a link to the free pattern and you're going to find all the timestamps there as well so you can jump around if you need to come back and follow this hack. I'm loving seeing all your different sharks and thank you for tagging me on Instagram. You can find in the highlights all of the sharks that you've shared with me. There's so many different varieties it's pretty amazing to see and you guys have been making them in their hundreds which is amazing I've had quite a few questions and I wanted to do a follow-up video to answer them and also to give you some new tips and hacks so that you can improve on your own sharks so first off I wanted to address the zipper issue a few people haven't liked that it bunches around the corner of the mouth and it also causes a bit of a bunching in the lining as well it is a bit of an issue I don't particularly like the look of it myself so I know I had a few suggestions on Facebook so thank you very much if you were one of those suggestions and I've hacked the pattern a little bit so that it stops the bunching and it stops that edge I'm not gonna lie this is definitely a little bit more advanced so if you are still a beginner then I would stick with the original tutorial however this is how you can change it to add zipper tabs onto your shark you need to cut four squares of interfaced fabric my fabric here as you can see is not interfaced but definitely do interface it it's going to make it a lot easier just trust me <laughs> these need to measure three centimeters by three centimeters or an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter and these are going to make your zipper tabs you need to make up the shark in the same way as the original tutorial and then when you come to sewing on the zipper tape you need to leave half an inch at each edge so you want to mark on with chalk half an inch from the end of the zipper tape you want to sew the zipper tape to your main body of your shark in the same way as normal stopping and starting half an inch from the edge and then you want to do the same with the lining again stopping and starting half an inch from the edge then we're going to top stitch around that zip again leaving the half an inch gap at each end you want to insert your zipper pull to the end of the zip and then we're going to add our zipper tabs we're going to encase the zipper ends with the squares that we've cut and we're going to pin and stitch with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance on both ends Then you need to cut the edges of the two squares down to an angle so that there is six eighths of an inch at the bottom or two centimetres, which leaves the original seam allowance for both edges of the shark body. Stitch the tab edges to the main part of the shark on both sides, then pin and stitch the lining to encase the tabs on the inside. We're going to pull the lining to one end, just like in the original tutorial, and snip into the seam allowance of the lining, right where the edge of our stitches are that we've just done. Then we're going to sew up the body of the shark as normal and the lining as normal, stopping and starting rather than going over those tabs. This is definitely the trickier method, so let me know in the comments below how you get on with this. And so here is the finished shark. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I've added the red lining as you saw when I was making it. It's not bunching up so much at the corners of the mouth and it just does look a lot better. However, if I was making a bunch of these, honestly, I'd stick with the original tutorial. It's a lot quicker, it's a lot simpler. I think I would just work on perfecting that lining, doing it in the same way as the hack method and just getting it to lie a lot better. This little shark zipper pull was really simple to make as well. I just used some shrink plastic, some Crayola felt tip pens and a Sharpie. I drew out my design and I shrunk it down with a heat gun tool. And I really like how it looks and it adds a little bit extra to the shark. I must admit this was inspired by seeing so many of your sharks with really cute little zipper pulls on them. They're much trickier to get in the UK so I wanted to add a little bit extra to my own shark. It was also brought 
brought to my attention that the line on the pattern showing where to stop sewing for the lining is missing. I'm so sorry about that. If you don't have it on yours, it should be eight centimeters up from the bottom. You can actually see two tiny, really tiny little marks if you look super close. I know they're impossible to see and I'm sorry. And by the time this video is up, if you are new to getting the pattern, it will be changed to have that line added. Another question that came up a few times as well was whether you could use something else other than the fusible fleece. So I wanted to use this wadding or batting as I had quite a lot of extra scraps. So to do that, I just stitched it to each of the pieces before sewing it all up in the same way as you would interface it with an eighth of an inch seam allowance going all the way around. Okay, so onto the eyes of the shark. You guys have come up with so many different ideas. If you don't have plush eyes, buttons, snap closures and applique also look amazing, as you can see here. I love that it changes the expression of the sharks too. Really cute. There's been a couple of sharks repurposed from other things and I love that these items have had a new life. Sewing seeds of change have used an old pair of jeans and an old nursing pillow to make hers and I think they turn out great. The addition of a ribbon and a lobster clasp is pretty genius too so it can be hung off a bag as well. Some of the zipper choices have made me smile as well from fish to even a shark like Deb's bird has used here it really adds a bit of bling and fun to the project. Also, I have seen quite a few people ask if you can use vinyl for this shark. And of course, yes, you can. And so many people have made some brilliant vinyl versions. I think you'll agree they look amazing in vinyl. They also make them a bit sturdier and they have a bit more structure, which I like too. Next, we have to talk about changing the shark into a completely new character. Did someone say Nemo? <laughs> How cool is this from KMG Handmade? If you're looking to add even more to your shark, I love this backpack style from Bored Mummy K on Instagram. Enlarging the pattern and adding webbing or straps is pretty awesome, I think you'll agree. And so I have to mention the fun prints that you guys have been using. I love seeing all the awesome prints that you guys have used. From mermaids to shark prints like this one by Karen Wolf. There have been so many awesome sharks. Like I say, you can find them all over on my Instagram highlights. And now for my favorite shark. Well, truth is I don't really have a favorite because it's been so hard to choose. But I have to show you this leopard shark. It's a literal leopard shark. <laughs> So brilliant. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite shark that I featured today and if you've made your own shark let me know as well. Coming up on the screen right now you can find my original shark tutorial and you can find a tutorial that I think you're going to love just as much. I'll see you on the next video.